What's up, world? I'm Big City Gardener, an urban gardener down here in Zone 9 in Houston, Texas. And I'm here to tell you what you should be planting in your garden in the month of April if you want to garden year-round like we do down here. So stay tuned and let's get to it. Down here in Zone 9 in the month of April, we have a high average temperature in the upper 70s and an average low temperature in the mid 60s. So if you ask me, it's a little bit too warm at nighttime for us to be planting any more cool weather crops. We need to switch our focus now to solely planting our spring and summer crops. The first thing that you should be planting in your garden in the month of April is lettuce. Now I know I said we're switching away from the fall season crops, but with the temperatures in the mid 70s to the mid 60s, that is the optimum range to grow some of the best lettuce of your life. The next thing you can plant in your garden are beans. Now I'm not talking about bush beans like you see back there. I'm talking about pole beans. Like the ones that I let dry on this trellis and actually dropped down and volunteered these plants right here. You can plant your pole beans, your yard long beans, and even the runner beans. The next thing that you can add to your garden is basil. The perfect companion plants to grow basil alongside are tomatoes. So make sure you leave some room in your tomato bed for your basil. This year I'm growing the Genovese basil as well as this Tulsi holy basil. And since every year I let my basil go to flower and produce seeds, I'm sure I'm going to have volunteer basil plants popping up all over my garden. Now the next few plants that you're able to plant in the month of April, you're either going to need a lot of space or you're going to need a trellis. And those plants are things like cantaloupes, cucumbers, and winter squash. This year I'm growing the Hale's Best Cantaloupe. I'm growing it right here in the front yard garden. If you haven't seen the front yard garden transformation, make sure you check out this video right here. As far as cucumbers, I'm growing the Market More Cucumber and I think it's called the Telegraph Improved, an English cucumber. And for winter squash, I am going to be growing the Seminole Pumpkin. But the cool thing about the Seminole Pumpkin is that you can actually harvest them while they're still small and eat them as summer squash. So I'll grab some of the pumpkins in the summer and let the rest grow until the winter time. Another dope thing about these Seminole Pumpkins is that you can store them for up to one year inside of your house at room temperature. And if you're into growing the gourds like the loofahs, then this is the month to plant them down here in zone nine. Another thing you need to be planting in April are peppers. I normally like to start my pepper seeds in December to where they have about three and a half to four months to grow before I transplant them outside. That way I'll have some decent sized plants. This year I didn't end up starting my peppers until January. This year I'm growing Santacas, Thai chilies, Scotch bonnets, jalapenos, serranos, poblanos, anaheims, and I think that's it. That's all that I can remember. April is also your last chance to get corn in the ground. Make sure you get it in the ground as early as possible this month. This year I'm growing the peaches and cream variety of corn right back here in the back garden. In April, you can also plant your summer squash. I'll be growing these two varieties, the Black Beauty and the Romanesco. Also in the month of April, we're going to be planting our eggplants. That's another crop that we planted now, early in the spring. It gets its roots established, and then it's able to provide us with fruits all summer long. If you plan on growing ginger or turmeric this year, now is when you want to plant your rhizomes outside. Now, don't be surprised if you don't see anything sprout or pop out of the ground for a month. Ginger and turmeric really start to thrive whenever we consistently have warmer temperatures. Now is also a great time to plant things like your lima beans, even your southern peas, like your black-eyed peas. Now, don't forget about your herbs. If you're trying to have an herb garden that's flourishing and providing you with herbs throughout the summer and into the fall, then you need to get them in the ground now. This is probably the last month that I would recommend that you plant herbs. Now, these herbs include things like your lavender, your oregano, your thyme, your rosemary, your basil, anything like that. We want to make sure we get them in the ground so they have time to establish roots before we start to experience some of those 100 degree days. And I don't know if you remember, but we were having 100 degree days in May last year. 
And if you're looking for leafy greens that you can still plant this month, I know I already mentioned lettuce, but not too late for you to still try to plant Swiss chard, arugula, and certain varieties of kale. With these, you can try direct seeding them, but you will probably have better luck if you go and purchase transplants from your local nursery. And just because we're talking about all the different type of food that you can grow, don't think that we're neglecting the flowers or the pollinators. Now, April is still an ideal time to get outside and plant all of your flowering perennials and all of your flowering natives. But if you're looking for some annual flowers that you can plant in your garden this month, the number one that I would recommend is sunflowers. Now, that's not to say it's the only flower that you can grow this month, but it happens to be my favorite. A few other flowers that you can plant this month are Now, if you're gonna grow annuals and you live down here in zone nine, I recommend you let them grow, flower, thrive, and then don't deadhead a lot of the plants. That way you can end up with all sorts of volunteer plants like I have all around my garden. I have marigolds and zinnias popping up everywhere and I haven't dropped one of those seeds this year. One of the final things that I'll mention that you should be planting this month are sweet potato slips. And just because sweet potatoes are drought tolerant and love the extreme heat, that doesn't mean that they want to be planted during that time. For the past two years, I've had subpar sweet potato harvest, but that all ends this year. This year, I'm planting my sweet potatoes in April and again in May. Anyway, sweet potatoes are a great crop that everybody should try growing at least once. Oh yeah, one last thing. If you have the space, don't forget to plant your watermelon. I don't have any more space here, but that's one of the plants that I will be planting at my plot at the community garden. And that's it. That's what you should be planting this month in April in your garden if you live down here in zone nine. If you don't live in zone nine, then you need to make sure that you're prepping your spring garden right now. If you don't know what to do, check out this video right here. All right, that's it. Thanks for tuning in. If you like it, you know what to do. If you don't like it, I don't really care. This is the year that I'm going to do everything that I said I was going to do. So make sure you check out the website and you join the mailing list so you can stay up to date with everything that I have going on. I know y'all hear that compost tea brewing back there. I got stuff to do today.